Stability AI announced a new model this week that is going to blow your generation times away. SDXL Turbo, based on a novel distillation technique called Adversarial Diffusion Distillation, or ADD. Uh, this novel technique allows the model to generate high quality images in a single step, maintaining image fidelity and enhancing Stable Diffusion's growing real-time capabilities. Bottom line, it speeds up SDXL generations significantly and works with plugins and models built on the back of SDXL. Stability AI hopes the model will help push forward the growing field of real-time text-to-image generation. The model weights are already compatible with Auto1111 and other popular front-ends like Comfy UI, and they can be downloaded from Stability AI's Hugging Face page. Now, I downloaded Turbo myself and tried it out in Auto11111. Uh, generating images with this is pretty simple. Just dial down your steps to one to four steps and your CFG down to one to two, then click Generate for lightning quick generations. The quality isn't quite there yet, but for seed surfing, ideating, or just playing around, it gives you images super quick. Definitely something that will come in handy for real-time generations too, like uh, you know, taking your webcam image and making a live stable diffusion image from it. Here's a little test I did with my Everly Heights character model. First, I generated 40 images in about two minutes with Turbo. Then I picked one and ran it through Turbo again with high-res fix and the refiner on, which upscaled the image to 1152 by 768. I also swapped out to the main SDXL checkpoint for the high-res fix model, which took about an additional 30 seconds. Next, I ran that image through image to image at 0.4G noising using the standard SDXL model and refiner. Finally, I upscaled the image using my new favorite toy, Topaz AI Photo. All in all, I'm pretty happy. This is gonna speed up prototyping for me a lot. Now, word of warning, uh, reusing the seed from SDXL and SDXL Turbo doesn't match up very well. They're kind of similar images, but not if you like details about the image from Turbo, it's not going to necessarily show up in SDXL proper. But I found this process of pushing the lesser quality Turbo image through the SDXL image to image pipeline gives me similar results. And I also can't say enough good things about Topaz AI upscaling. It works way better than my previous go-to uh, ControlNet tile. If you want to try out SDXL Turbo, you can download the model weights yourself on Stability's Hugging Face profile, and then just throw them in with your other checkpoints, select it, turn down your steps and your CFG, and you're off to the races. Read the stories and join the team at everlyheights.tv. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Everly Heights. Watch us build Everly Heights in building dreams by subscribing to at Build Meeks LA on YouTube. Get access to the custom stable diffusion models we're using to build Everly Heights, as well as our morning meeting production diary by supporting us at patreon.com slash Everly Heights.